Travis Campbell here of marketingprofessor.com and I'm glad you're watching this video. Here you see on the screen is a uh, sort of my back office in a test environment with Infusionsoft and you're going to want to watch this video because after I'm done sharing with you this new feature uh, that they're just releasing, I'm going to invite you uh, to a bonus. So if you're not yet an Infusionsoft user, maybe you've been on the fence, maybe you, you recognize a need to go to the next level, but you haven't been able to do it until perhaps now, uh, I'd like to help you kickstart that process with a very special uh, and uh, invaluable uh, bonus. But before we get to that, I want to talk to you today about the March 2011 release of the Infusionsoft update and some of the features that they're including. There's quite a few of them and um, it's being written about over at Marketing Professor, but I want to focus right now on this new feature called Campaigns. And so you go in here to Setup and you go to Campaigns. And I should tell you, before this function existed, to properly process flow a campaign, you had to do quite a few steps. And it, it's illustrated here in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and choose a new web lead campaign. And you see this illustration here? This is where you can uh, illustratively see that you've got to create a web form. Those get processed as new leads in a follow-up sequence. And then if they take action in the sequence, they become hot leads and get nurtured into a sale, hopefully. If they don't take action, they get into a nurture sequence. And perhaps later on, they will become a sale if they click a link and follow through the hot lead sequence. So you've got a series of sequences here. And you've got to be able to track all these down. So the way you do that is you set up tags. And, uh, and then in order to identify those that were tagged, you need to create a query. And then you need to save the query so that you can quickly find them. And then ultimately, those saved queries funnel up into the dashboard. And uh, in the dashboard, you can see kind of the success of the campaign. So to do all of that, just to set the framework, not the copywriting, not the design, just that framework easily was a six uh, was a four to six hour operation with my clients and I'm going to show you that they've added this feature that it creates the framework pretty much in under 10 seconds so I just said new campaign and it's giving you a visual depiction and I'm gonna go ahead here and just hit start building this campaign I'm gonna call it um, one two three campaign I'm gonna do the one, two, three campaign as my first starting email template. Okay, and I'm gonna hit continue. So this wheel that's going around right now is doing the, the very thing, the set up the framework that took uh, hours before. And there's the framework, it's done. And you're now taken to a campaign dashboard. You can see the campaign readiness right here is at 14%. You've got the web form. It's currently in a red condition because you've got to go in and update and create uh, the details of the web form uh, or customize it rather. You got the follow-up sequence, follow-up sequences. So there's the new lead sequence, and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six emails, and uh, actually five, six, five emails and one action at the end. And you've got a hot lead sequence. If they take action, they're going to go in the hot lead sequence. That's one, two. Uh, uh, three emails and an action on the sixth day, so in four days. And then you've got a nurture sequence that runs out for a year, okay, about a year. So uh, beyond all this, once you've got all these components filled in, again, a lot of this is, is some copywriting, um, you then can go to your dashboard because it's put the widget on the dashboard to see the stats for this campaign. And uh, here's the tags that it created as well. So it's very simple. You look at this campaign, you see the campaign readiness, and you can go in here and update these as you have time until you've got the campaign built out. On the home screen, you'll see that the 123 campaign is now part of the stats that's viewed on this campaign. It gives you all the numbers for people that have taken action, and you can see how people are processing through the campaign. Now, if I go to the campaigns here, and I want to go ahead and continue to work on it, you see the campaign readiness. I can go into the web form start updating the web form attributes and do what it is that I want to do with the web form, any additional actions that I want to take place. All the actions are done already to flow through that dashboard. So all this had to be done manually before. It is wonderful to know this is already done. So here's the, uh, the landing page. It's currently hosted internally. You can always host it on your own web page if you want. And then publish. 
and uh, you can host it with them. They give you a URL to do so. Uh, you can write an email to your webmaster and include the code, or you can get the code and use a JavaScript snippet, which is also new in the 2011 March 2011 update, or you can do a traditional HTML code. So very, very compelling. Again, it's is called the campaign feature. It's under uh, the setup menu here, and where you just add these campaigns. And uh, again, it, it, seriously, this, this just the framework took hours to set up. Um, and then you have to fill in the copyright. That framework is all now done for you. Now I want to talk for just a second here about the bonus. I've just put a URL up on the screen. You can see it there. Go ahead and check out that link. If you're thinking about buying Infusionsoft, I would really like to give you an opportunity to help you jumpstart the process with a special bonus. It's called My Blueprint to maximize the ROI of Infusionsoft in 30 days or less. I know that's a mouthful, but basically, it's the framework and the blueprint that I put together and uh, it helps people get started with Infusionsoft so that they're selling product at the end of 30 days if they have products to sell. So go ahead and check out that link to find out more information. It is a limited bonus, so I haven't decided yet how long it's gonna be up, um, but it will be up there for at least uh, another, uh, at least the month of March while this update uh, is getting rolled out to Infusionsoft customers. Again, my name is Travis Campbell of marketprofessor.com. Thank you for watching this video and look forward to speaking with you next time on the web.